How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Sun, and welcome back to another episode of the Dutch... Still don't have it. I still don't have a name for this. I'm, I'm so uncreative. Uh, welcome to the, you know, the Netherlands campaign. Let's just call it that for now. The Netherlands campaign. We're back. I haven't had a chance to, you know, this is still the first recording session, so if you've commented, said something, I have not been able to see that. Just warning you, I will probably be recording at least one more after this as well. Uh, I'm, I'm just having a great time with this. I just want to keep going, you know. I might make some coffee in between videos, but... I'm good to go. Uh, this war is going great. Both of the wars, we've only been in two wars, and they've both gone, you know, extremely well. Yeah, look at that. Verdin just uh, has been crushed. Um, I'm not going to take this, obviously. That wouldn't make any sense. I could vassalize them. That might not be the worst idea in the world. Uh, in fact, let's see. So if we were to take both of these. Yeah, we might be able to vassalize both and get away with it, but I'm not going to vassalize both. That's just weird. Um, and we already are at a relationship limit for now, so let's not do that. Um, instead, what we'll do is just take your money. <laughs> money is always good. I can always use the money. Transfer trade power is good, but it counts as a relationship. And we'll say give up claims in, you know, Oldenburg, I guess. You know, for some prestige. Sounds good. You're out of this war, buddy. There you go. We might want to. might have wanted to keep them in for a little longer to get an extra war score so we don't have to go and fight Genoa, but... Uh, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. I'd rather just get them out of the war just in case something terrible happens. And they rebound, because that is possible. I've seen it before. Alright, cool. Uh, we have gotten the war goal now. I think what we, uh... What we do now is just wait for Genoa to, you know... Feel like they don't want to be in the war anymore. I don't want to go fight them, really. <laughs> As you might expect, it seems like a bad idea to me to go looking for a fight with Genoa. Let them come to us if they want, but uh, for now, we're just going to sit here and, uh, yeah. We have quite a bit uh, higher of a force limit now for Navy stuff, as I should have remembered, because we're independent. Um, tech coming up in a couple years, good. But everything is looking pretty swell. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm just being goofy now. Oh, there's anything wrong with that. I think it's perfectly fine to be goofy. But yeah, I mean, they have low war enthusiasm, but unfortunately, Genoa and Albania don't. So we, we're just gonna have to wait a little bit. Um, you know, I'm gonna wait a while. Uh, it. I don't know how long they're gonna make me wait, honestly, but once... Uh, I mean, I'm hoping that eventually these guys will get out of the war. The length of war is going to tick on our favor over time. But we're basically not at war now, you know, effectively. <laughs> we're not really worried. Um, no mission selected. Utrecht. I need to eat you, too. Tech cost is good to get down. We don't need missionary strength. If we're going to lose stability, take the tech cost reduction. We will go ahead and boost stability. We have a lot of pow pow bleh, power points because of the fact that our power projection is so high, among other things. So that's really good. Who are our new rivals, anyways? I forgot. Oh, we don't. We only have one rival. Wow. All right, well, that's part of it, probably. I don't think it's actually detracting, though. Uh, we have a truce the clone still. I think we'll probably rival. You know what? We should improve relations with them against her. Um, we'll probably rival. Uh, Hmm, well, Cleves? Can we even rival them? I'm not sure. We'll see, I suppose. Friesland if we can, but we're getting a lot of power, so we're more powerful than most of the other miners in this area. Okay. France is actually losing to England right now. Probably just because, like, Portugal is probably bothering them and the Navy thing, the whole not having a Navy thing, but I don't know. Oh, England has a decent army over there, too, though, so I don't know. Okay, Vassalize Cleave. That's actually a really good mission. You don't normally get those. It gives you subjugation. So I'm probably not going to use that even, but I will take that to get the CB for now because it is a relatively rare CB that you don't see all that often, and that is a, it's a very strong one. So I will take it for now. Um, meanwhile, I mean, I guess we'll just go back to protecting trade, I guess, in the English Channel. Sounds good to me. I need to check a message real quick. Okay, we're good. No 
Okay, our, uh, it looks like our estates are a little bit less uppity now, and we're probably about to make them more uppity right now. So let's go ahead and do so. Uh, we're going to give them some more land so that we can... Uh, so that we can get points, get more points out of them. We'll see. Um, let's wait a... Let's wait till the end of this war, though, so we have a little bit more land, a little bit more knowledge of what everything's going to be like. Hey, Genoa is actually low in... Why? Why all of a sudden low enthusiasm? Revolts! Oh, perfect. That's good. Can we get Albania out of this? I wonder if we can get Albania out of this first, maybe? And then now, okay. Well, let's just get Genoa out then. That's fine. Yeah, just get him out. I don't care. And uh, yeah, now we've won. I mean, we had already won, but you know. Yeah. All right, we can take this. Um, full annexation. Okay. Uh, wow, that's a lot of money. <laughs> that's quite a bit of money. And just double check and good. Easy money, man. I can't believe the luck we've had with our wars, you know, regardless of whether or not the Burgundian inheritance is lucky or not, um, it's going relatively well, I would say, overall. I think we might want to focus military. How long is it between... I don't know. I, I like balance, you know? I like having a balance in the force. That's nerdy. Um, taxation? We could build another tax thing? I will. <laughs> I'm absolutely going to do so. Why wouldn't I? At this point, unrest is a little bit higher now, probably because of uh, overextension. Clergy, clergy is unloyal. Ah, makes sense. Um, let's go ahead and again come back here and see. It has not changed. Oh, because it's not core yet. We gotta wait till this is core. Once Jellery is a core part of our country, then we will worry about our estates. France, you better win that war. They they will win it. I trust in you know. I trust in France. In France, we trust. Um, I think we're at the point of, or, uh, what am I going to call it? Uh, what, 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 what do you call it? The point of no return, or the point where I will turn and flip from being allied to Austria to being allied to France, is the point at which I have conquered Friesland and Utrecht. That's going to be the thing that limits us, or rather doesn't. Y you know what I mean. I think we should be able to conquer Friesland fairly easily, too. We're going to wait a little bit. But I think it's going to be fairly easy. Just smash them, you know, as is tradition, and then go smash Dith Martian and just occupy and Oldenburg and just occupy them. All right, Crimea did go with the Ottomans. That probably won't affect us much, but you know, it could have far-reaching implications. Byzantium is already dead. What do you expect? Albania lives though. Uh, oh, crap! I wasted a little bit of points there. My apologies. Oh, well, I could have just taken tech, I suppose, but whatever. There's all the techs. It's good. Yeah, I will all absolutely do that. Um, honestly, put out root corruption higher. Oh, we don't need to worry about that now, though, because we have the uh, ahead of time in tech, which is awesome. I love having that. Yeah, there we go. Cologne is a lot. We need rivals. Yes, rivals. I forgot about that. Only two available. Brandenburg and Austria. Really? Lovely. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna rival... <laughs> we're gonna rival Austria. That's a given. But I would really like to wait, possibly. I guess Brandenburg. Cool. We are quite powerful. I will give the game that. I understand why it has us in the position we're at. We can't vassalize. You can't vassalize anyone in the Empire anymore. Which is, you know, dumb, but also understandable. It'd be too overpowered. Balance, you know. The core will be done soon. We have so much money. And having another port is really good, actually. Should have mentioned that. Oh, stability. Heck yeah. I love that event. We actually have quite a bit of um, Diplo points left over, which is good because we're going to be going Colonial next. I think Exploration will be our second idea group. We'll probably not be the first to reach, almost certainly not be the first to reach the uh, the new world, but we shouldn't be too late to the party. Go ahead and join the fleet. Our fleet is 
you know, slowly increasing in size, make that a state, absolutely, okay? And what we do now is look at our estates now. Nobility, yeah. Yes, it works perfectly, actually. Look at that, beautiful. Clergy, you can get a province now too, probably. Uh, Antwerpen, we save for the no, uh, burgers. Actually, wow. Yeah, this works. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this works. And now we just, uh, I'd rather get more points, but I think I'm not gonna risk it this time. Instead, we'll just go for 100 from them. And 100 from them. And 150 from you. And I think we'll also get your money. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. Real good. I like it. I approve. Our finances are so good, you know? Can we build the... Uh, we can build the manpower things and docks. We need docks. Shipyards, you know what I mean. Manpower would be good to get. Yeah, that one's good. Do that. Cool. This is good. We're getting a whole bunch of good events, good money. Oh, Austria is in a war against Provence, Savoy, and Siena. Again, Austria is strong. Especially if they bring in all their allies. But they're not they're not in a they're not invincible. Especially if we choose to flip sides, which we're not gonna do now, but I'm really hoping that they don't pull me into this war. I think this is going to be a really good war, too, again. I do think we should be able to blitz fast enough to not make a difference, or not be risky. That's a good event. But Austria has so much power because of Aragon, especially. I'm really hoping that the uh, Iberian Wedding fires soon. Sans and Alfonso. So they're both males, unfortunately. We'll see. Maybe the Iberian will happen. happen. Maybe it won't. I believe the Iberian wedding wedding can happen any time before like 1550 or is it 1500? It might be 1500. Wouldn't be surprised with either of those. Okay. Uh, why is there unrest here? Controlled by clergy. And they're, the clergy are upset. Okay, that'll be gone in like six months though. We should be good. I don't think we'll have a rebellion there. Truce with England is over. Again, France is gonna win that war. It looks like it's deceiving. They look like they're losing and they technically are, but they're they're gonna win. They got Portugal out, yeah. Oh, they peaced out, really? Did they take the land? No, they, did they white peace? Really? Really, you white pieced, huh? Fascinating indeed. Their navy. England's navy is so strong. Otherwise, I would be willing to, you know, if I was allied to France and France would join, I would just beat up England, take Calais at least, but it is of our culture, so. Shipyards, by the way, are overpowered. Naval force limit, but in a good way. I like it. Don't change it, please. Um, ship repair, shipbuilding time, naval force limit. They're so good. They're so good. Look at that. Look at that force limit. That's so beautiful. All right, clergy, just be loyal again, so I don't have to have these rebels. If we can make it like a year, we shouldn't be able to have. We shouldn't have have to have, I guess, any rebels. All right, but we should, again, start looking for more options. Another province that's part of the Genoa Trade League that was that is weak and I will probably eat. Good to know. Cleves, Friesland, again, I think Friesland is a really good option, but I might wait till one of them the other miners in their alliance chain gets eaten or stuff like that. Meanwhile, we should look at Utrecht too. We're speeding along at a good pace, so that's a, that's because the early game there's not so much, you know, not so much to do. So don't worry about it. I'm not. It's not like I'm rushing too much. I don't think. I think this is a good pace. Uh, yeah, do that. Oh, we're gonna take a loan, probably. Ah, crap. It's okay. Uh, 
Okay, regiment costs down and production efficiency up. It's gonna be good. More money, of course. Why not? Okay, Munster loves us. And keep up the good relations with Austria. Actually, I'm curious, if we broke the alliance, but I, I do believe it's a hundred relations is where they will no longer uh, no longer give you unlawful territory. But I'm not sure I'm not sure about that. Who declared this war? Is was it Savoy? Papal Provincial Excommunication War. Wow, interesting. Oh, they want that province, yeah. Okay, I see that. I can see that. Grant a generalship. You should always, in my opinion, you should always be doing that in your free time. Or like whenever it's available, it's, it's really good. It's quite, quite good. Again, we're not tearing through all the land that we need to get, but we're getting at a good pace, at a solid, solid pace. Not too fast, not too slow. Okay. And we're in one of those periods where we just kind of have to sit around for a little bit, but that is completely fine. That's how this game goes. Our money is so good. We only control 10% of the English Channel trade too. Once we get Holland and some of these other provinces, it's gonna be a lot higher. I'm hoping uh, we're able to get all in in the near future. We need it. <laughs> so, you know. Yes, they did it! Okay, Iberian Wedding has been done. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, the Iberian Wedding has been, you know, done. So, Spain is going to be powerful, which actually is not good for us. But, for the near future, it's good for us because Austria just lost Aragon. That makes them quite a bit weaker. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Hold on, wait a sec, let me do this first before I forget. But, oh my god, France will ally us. Really, even though they're rivaled, really, really France, you're gonna ally me. That's hilarious, that's ridiculous, it's really good. Don't get me wrong, I'm just a little surprised. So now the question is, do we really think do we, do we think that France and France could 1v1 Austria and Hungary and win? I don't know. I don't know. What if we allied Poland? Mm, no, you're allied to Brandenburg. Brandenburg. We have so much manpower. I wish we could like hire more troops, but we don't have enough force limit. And we don't have this building yet. I want it. We'll get it soon. Okay. Timer did go off a second ago. Um, I think it's fine though. Let's go a little bit longer. It's a bad habit. I'll try to be productive, but I love playing this game. <laughs> uh, we do want to call in Munster if we do this war, probably. Dith Martian. I'm going to wait till one of them goes to war. Even if they just go to war for like a few months, it'll almost certainly put them in debt, which will affect their willingness to join. Meanwhile, Liege, you'd be a good one. I have a truce, so, like, you know, not yet, but, you know, you will be a good option to eat. But it's good to be just burning off some aggressive expansion, too. That's important. I think our next choice will probably be Friesland, though. It's more important to get the land that we need for the Netherlands than it is to eat land in other areas, although that's also important. I'm having so much fun though, I'll tell you, I'll tell you that right now. I'm having quite a bit of fun playing this. Munster is decent to have as an ally. We actually have one spot open, so we might want to vassalize someone like, uh, what if we vassalize Friesland? If we vassalize Friesland, then we might be able to feed them East Frisia in our war with Liege, but that's a that's probably way too much land to be able to conquer in one war. The Ottomans are blobbing, as is, you know, normal. I don't really care, though. I, I pretty much don't care about the Ottomans at all. Aw, oh, darn it. All right, cool. So, that sucks. We have our bad ruler just came of age. 
pretender rebels in Brabant, in our capital of Brabant. Let's go and get them over, get our general over there. I hate this. Well, we were at max manpower. I don't really care that much, I guess. Um, I want to royal marry France. I want our ruler, yeah, our consort to be from France. Oh god, that's bad. Um, do we, I don't think we want to. Let's not do the royal marriage with Austria. How about that? Cool. Oh hey, we got rid of these rebels. Like I said, I I wasn't paying attention, but I knew that was gonna happen. So that's good. Uh, now we'll go ahead and sit here. Yeah, this is this is good. Uh, it's not good that our we lost our good ruler. Gosh darn it. It's really that's really not good either. Um, yeah, losing the good ruler is not good, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Also, Brandenburg. Brandenburg, did I ever tell you that I hate you? <laughs> and also, don't ever speak to me and my merchants ever again. <laughs> I'm memeing it up here, you know. Alright, I gotta end this episode in a second. Well, let me just... Hoi-da! Yeah, 50 power projection, at least for one month. There we go, yeah. All right, cool, I'm gonna wrap this episode up here. Thank you guys for watching the uh, another episode of this Netherlands campaign. I'm having a great time so far. I love forming the Netherlands, and once you are the Netherlands, it's fine. It's, it's gonna be good. Either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.